Operation Turbo Diamond Eagle. Anyway, welcome to welcome to a new episode of Sly Three Honor Among Thieves. Last episode we did day two of Holland area. This time we do Operation Turbo Dominant Eagle. Or Turbo Dominant Eagle, I said. Anyway, but anyway, we need to get there first though. But, ha ha ha, we must go there and destroy these tables. We <laughs> must go there and destroy these tables. <laughs> That's fun. But anyway, we guys can destroy these guys. Whee! Oh, I only get 600. I only have 600 coins before we start the whole oh boy. <laughs> nice. Yeah, we're gonna do it with this guy. Nice. Even without, we even without getting the his uh, little pocket gold medal. Nice. He got the gold medal. Speaking of gold medal, uh, the Olympics start just recently started. Recently, this or well, of this recording it. It started. I guess it started a few days ago. The Olympics of the other time of this recording. I mean, obviously, it will be still the middle of Olympics when this goes up. But you know, the Olympics started another day and saw all that. So that's cool. And all that the Olympics started. Yeah. So whoever's like whoever likes Olympics can go watch the Olympics. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not really big into the sport, but Olympics can be pretty entertaining to watch, though. Like they can be. Hey. Now I'm just gonna I'm gonna start the operation. <laughs> I can kill the ball up here! Whee! Excellent! The B Champs dogfight is beginning! With these guys going at it, no one will notice as you slip onto the gunships and plant a tracking device. Sounds straightforward enough. Where'd you get these trackers? They look kind of funny. Best I could do on short notice. They're sensitive to extreme changes in altitude. You'll have to pull this job off at high elevation or it's a bust. Shouldn't be a problem. Alright, basically, basically we just had to kind of put upward and everything. Basically, we this basically go flying. We had to use the kind of poke. Whee! And basically, uh, hopefully we can reach the, reach the blip. Yes, we reached the blip from the end street. Basically, yeah, this, this, this one's always the one of my favorites. Uh, obviously, we can just... Can we even do it without, without that? <laughs> yeah, we do it without the riding. It's cute. That's awesome. Alright. Yeah, these, we need to turn the light a lot. Definitely, uh... Definitely what I do recommend is, if you already went to one of these, you can just paraglide to back. Oh, wait, I'm not gonna... I'm gonna... I'm not gonna waste that, am I? Wait. Oh, great. <laughs> wait, wait! Oh, sweet! Nice. I can just jump back up here, and then we'll go right back up there. I swear. We haven't gone to this one. Oh, shoot. I'm, I'm afraid I'm going to make it to that one. Let's put it right to this one. <laughs> the other thing is, you have to be really careful. All right. So there's two of them. So one way over there, and then there's one over here. I think we can just do that. There we go. Yep. We can just do that. Well, that, we're way up. But we'll, def we'll definitely make it here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. we definitely made that one. All right. Be really careful. Just one more tracker, and we're in business. I think we can to this one over here, and then jump. Oh boy, we got this. Gonna be close. This gonna be close. This gonna be close. Sweet, yes. I think. Yeah, I think we got. We got. We did. We did it first try, didn't we? Nice. Oh, ooh, ooh, that was yeah. First try, nice. Sometimes I can't do that first try. Sometimes it's, I can't, but I got it. That's a, that's always a fun that's always a fun part right, of the Trying to do that. Communication antenna is held up by three support beams. Pull them out of place, and the whole array will fall apart. Don't worry. If there's one thing I'm good at, it's rowing and breaking stuff. Yeah. I think you just pick up entire uh, thing. Well, boy, just you know, stop it on the water. You would think that he would break it, but not. Anyway, 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 let's get the gold, guys. Let's get the gold for it. Let's, let's get the gold. I'm trying to get the gold for it. Come on. Yeah. Guys, just keep tapping. Come on. Come here, you can get the gold, Murray. Murray, you can get the gold. You can get the gold. Yeah. There goes one pedal. Nice. We do have to go farther every time, so yeah. Come on, let's get the gold, man. Murray, you can do it. You can get the gold. Get the gold. Get the gold. We can be able to get the gold for the, for the, was it, the rowing get the, for rowing. Can I imagine? Get me, maybe we get, get the, get the gold for, for, for rowing and stuff. Uh, obviously, um, so I would get the gold for the ace competition. Even though they don't, I don't think they even have aces in, uh, in, uh, in the Summer Olympics, but you know. 
But I mean, they don't have it in the Winter Olympics either, but, you know. Maybe they can... I mean, I know they're rowing, rowing at least, but, you know, they at least have that. So Mar at least Murray can win something, so I can't. What would, what would Brittany win, though? Oh, hacking? <laughs> win that hacking? Win that gold medal with hacking? I don't know. Just think of the different characters that could win the gold. Oh, nice. We're, we're fine. Yeah, let's do the ace competition final. Well, this is it. I am the tiger, pal. Look for the black baron. Take him out and this competition is all over. And go easy on the throttle. It's been sticking lately. Quit worrying. I'll see you in the winner's circle. Yeah. I love, I love this boss. I love this area. This area of the game is pretty sweet. I think this might be my favorite area in the game. Like, I know Venice Italy is also pretty great. And also, the next one's pretty great, too. Also, we do have to uh, follow the Baron. We do have to follow the Baron. Also, the Baron's pretty easy. He's just, this guy. He's just you know, this guy in the light, in the light and everything. So, it's pretty easy to uh, find. We, also, we, also, if we shoot the other ones, it doesn't do anything. I love how everyone's got this guy down, like. Right? <laughs> uh, like, look how easy he's going down, like. Hey! Don't. Oh, at least we just had to fall in and shoot him down. Oh, this is actually, I think this is going to be a pretty quick mission operation if we always shoot him down. Yeah, we got him down. Wow, that's quick. <laughs> that, that cool is good. Gunships, converge on my position and destroy the Cooper aircraft. Send in a spare plane as well. Roger, Baron. All units on route. Sorry, Baron. But you'll have to fight fair this year. What? Who is this? How did you find this ring? What? Now? Huh? This is... Ooh. My Man, just throw the blimps. Man. Oh, this plane's come unfixed. High time for an upgrade, I say. You, you cheater. Black being cheated. Oh no, you don't, you weasel. You weasel. <laughs> I beat you. Your biplane is in pieces. <laughs> We're both skilled airborne, aren't we? The victor has yet to be decided. Then, let's settle it. Beware, my boy. I've trained ten years at Fisticuffs. Feudalism is my passion. If you fight as well as you fly, this shouldn't take long. Ooh, I'm got. Oh, I guess, I guess we could, uh... If this was fencing, he could do fencing, but it's not fencing. This is just punch. I guess, I guess, uh, Slyke, I mean, I guess, besides, besides, you know, beating him, that being, being, you know, fighting and stuff like that, uh, oh god, he's, he's killing, he's killing me. <laughs> maybe, maybe, maybe the Black Baron can be, uh, be, uh, in, be the best in boxing, or whatever. I guess it would be boxing, wouldn't it? Oh boy. Oh, jeez, I'm not doing so good right now. <laughs> I did pretty good take down his plane, though. Oh boy, he's, he's gonna see it. Victory has won again. Of course it has. Oh, damn, that guy killed me. That guy killed me a lot. Oh, hey, man, oh, dude. Be really careful. Oh, be, now that we really... This, this fight fight actually can be a little tricky, though. He has a dodges punches and stuff. And he's a uh, growl. Oh, boy! Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. <laughs> I love how he doesn't even you know, get hit by, by you know, the propellers or whatever. Not the propellers, but like the... Uh, I get, yeah, wait, what is it? Can't think. The fans or whatever. Oh, jeez. Oh, he's falling off. Oh, boy. Haha, <laughs> he got stuck down the plane. Oh, Still these guards. I'm trying to get some health here. Can we get some health out of these guys? I guess not. Oh, he got some health! Sweet. Uh, I think we do just have to knock these guys off coming. Yep, that that works. That's where we eat that. Ooh! He's just tried to jump. We always got his health, his health, health all the way his health down. <laughs> oh, he, oh, God, that's a big punch. Oh, oh God damn. We, need, we definitely need a... Uh, Oh man. 
Oh, man. <laughs> yeah, we got his guys out. Oh, I'm trying to get all these guys out. <laughs> oh, oh, can we get some, can we get some of these health? Oh, 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 I fell to my doom. Man, do we have to start all the beginning? Yeah, we do, don't we? Okay, this might take a little, this might take a little bit to defeat this guy right here. <laughs> Oh boy, it, yeah, this, this boss fight can be a little tough. Like, I do have to say, this boss fight can be a little Oh, geez. Especially because, like, if he hits us really hard, he can do really good damage. Oh boy. Ah, oh, there you go. Nice. Uh -uh. There you go. Ah, oh, I missed the health. I missed the health. Man, that probably would have battered a lot. <laughs> okay, I, probably, I think it's probably better to get closer to him. Because, like, as it, cause, like, at least it's, like, if we get really close to him, it's easier to hit him. Oh, well, see. Yeah, see, because, you know. Oh, no. Nope. Uh, I just destroy these guys. Destroy the pig. I love how you just sitting on pigs. <laughs> pigs. I guess they're not like. Ooh, that's tough there. I love the pigs can dusty dog. Ooh. Hey! That really didn't really help at all. Oh, good health. Good health. Good health. Oh, there he is. There he is. <laughs> oh, we almost got him though. We almost got him. I think we only got a few more hits. A few more hits. One? Do one? Do we got him? Yeah, we got him. Sweet. I'm gonna be quiet now. See you guys later. <laughs> That's enough. You win, Cooper. Wait, you? You're Penelope, the Baron's mechanic. No. No, you are the Black Baron. Someone was bound to find out sooner or later. I guess I'm kind of relieved. But why? Look, let's talk on the ground where it's safe. It was quite a revelation. Penelope and the Black Baron were one and the same. But before we could even process this turn of events, we were rushed to the winner's circle. Somehow, against all odds, we become this year's champions. There was a bit of an awkward moment between Bentley and Penelope. I guess the photos they'd sent each other over the internet were a bit... exaggerated. That night, Penelope explained that the disguise was invented to get her past the dogfighting league's strict age requirements. However, after winning, the Baron became a celebrity and she found herself putting on the costume more and more often. But now, with the Black Baron out of the picture, she was free to take up a new path, and she joined the gang without hesitation. The next day, our newest recruit treated us to a week-long aerial tour of Holland. She was fitting in just fine. We got a new member, baby! Yeah! Penelope's not part of a gang. Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah, he had that plot to his Penelope. One thing I don't like is how they basically have that same exact plot twist in the new in the slide four, but it's a lot worse. Like how they do it is a lot worse in slide four. Like they basically have that exact same plot twist as slide three. So basically copied it. But like they kinda of ruined it because like, you know, yeah, so yeah, basically oh I mean definitely
definitely was shocked when I first played this game. I mean, I, I knew, I mean, obviously, I played this game so many times, so I knew it was coming. Plus, man, Sly 4 does win the whole, that whole thing with, the, with Penelope, though. Like, it really I'm just gonna, I know it's spoilers, but, like, the game's, like, eight years old, so, you know. Well, I, well, no. Yeah, I think eight, eight years. Yeah, so, yeah. Anyway, 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 let's actually start the next mission. We're just gonna start the Cold Because it's only been 15 minutes, so let's start the Cold Alliance. I'll be quiet again. It's because if I don't, I'll probably talk more shit about Sly 4 with how they win Penelope and all that. But anyway, anyway, anyway let's actually start the, let's actually start a Cold Alliance. Wah, wah, wah. After a careful analysis of Dr. M's fortress, Bentley came to the difficult conclusion that his demolition skills just weren't gonna be enough. If we wanted to get inside the Cooper vault, we'd have to recruit a full-time demolition specialist. However, Bentley's proposed candidate was a shock. My old enemy, the Panda King. As a member of the original Fiendish Five, he had a part in taking out my dad and stealing pages from the Thievius Raccoonus. Eventually, I caught up with him, and I claimed back what he had stolen. There was no way I was going to let that monster on my team, but Bentley was firm. He discovered the Panda King had left his life of crime, and was now a monk living the life of quiet meditation high up in the mountains. I wasn't at all convinced, but there was no denying that he had the skills we needed if we were to succeed. So the gang packed up, put on our disguises, and headed east to China. Stay sharp, team. For all we know, the Panda King's just as dangerous as ever. How can you say that? Just look at him! Have you ever seen someone more at peace with the world? I'll admit, he does look kinda... zenned out. Ah! Uh, Mr. King! Honorable Panda King! We humbly wish to speak with you! I guess he doesn't want to talk. Sorry, Bentley. Let's go. Be realistic, Sly. He's clearly in a deep meditative trance. Huh. It'll take some doing, but I think I see a way to get the team up to his shrine. Good. The walk up here tired me out. I don't want to turn around now. Man, I miss the van. We never had to walk anywhere back then. Okay, okay. Let's just get this over with. Murray, you're up first. If you could get to the top of that pillar, you should be able to use your ball move to bounce all the way up to the Panda King. Okay, bouncing is a lot easier than more walking. Seriously, you guys want to see my blisters? No way, is he serious? Yeah, okay, Master. Bouncing, pillars, piece of cake. Ha, I will do that. I hear that. Sometimes you've got to be firm. No, a lot. Hey, and welcome back. So I was kind of quiet. There was a lot of cutscenes going on all that. So yeah, but basically we're in the new area of the game and everything now. Well, well, not quite to the hide ha hideout place there. Yeah, but basically we we had to get over there and bounce up there uh, so we can meet the Panda King. Because basically right now we're trying to recruit the Panda King now on our team and stuff like that. And now and everything. Also, oh jeez, this guy has gold. This guy has gold. This guy has gold. What's that guy doing? What is that guy doing? That guy saw me? Something? Wait, no, that guy didn't have gold, did it? Did he go have gold? I thought it got a gold. Maybe, 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 not, maybe not. Maybe not. I thought these guys did. 
But these Jaguars, I guess, don't. <laughs> uh, but anyway, I can just now I can just bounce up there. Oh boy! Wait! Oh shoot! Oh shoot! What? Wait! What? Wait! They didn't die? They didn't die? I thought they. I thought I threw them in the water. I guess not. <laughs> At least not. That didn't work. Oh boy. Oh boy. Okay, we have to be up there now. Now I get up there. Oh boy. Oh, but that's not working. This is not working at all. This is not working at all. <laughs> oh my. Somehow I get over there though. Oh my. Oh my. This is not working at all. What do we have? We want the bouncing. We need to get stuff from Murray. We need to get stuff from Murray. Wait till they just. I thought. I thought I killed them by throwing them in the lake. Like it's not. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh boy. Oh yes, we're doing it. We're doing it. Yes, sweet. Oh yeah. Oh, they they basically trying to chase me though. Oh boy. Oh, we did, we did it, we did it good, we did it, yes! <laughs> we made it over here without the guards seeing us. <laughs> well, they saw us for a little bit, but we made it over here, nevertheless. I still think I'd destroy the street store them away. I guess not. How, wait, how? Oh, do we just stand? Oh, he's just supposed to stand right there. <laughs> okay, I'm in position. Well, Melope, you're up next. I'm not sure if you're aware, but Sly could jump onto small points. Those bamboo shoots would be an ideal means of ascent. I love, I love how so I love how we can just apart. use that to hold on, climb up. Hold on, let me see if I can figure it out for myself. It's uh, got to do with the ice. Okay, so clearly we need more points in order for Sly to ascend. The problem? Where we're going to get them? The answer? Split each shoot down the middle thereby doubling the points of ascension. However, the ice down there appears too thin to walk on, so there's no way to do it by hand. So, I'll need to use my lightweight remote control car to split the trees for us. Perfect! Nice. Well, that's it, exactly! Great! Anything for Sly. I love to see him pull off those athletic <laughs> moves. Oh, I, oh, I, you know. <laughs> Good thing uh, I stole the curtain goofy. on this one. Oh man, I kinda wish I kinda wish they didn't win her in the in the in the next game, but you know. Too bad. <laughs> but basically this is a remote control car that somehow does you know die on the ice. I mean to fear the guards didn't either, so if the guards can't, this we can't, so you know. Yeah, I think what's weird, I think Sly can. Can he can Sly can Sly, you know, die from the little uh, from the water and ice? There you go, Sly! hope it's everything you could have wished oh for. God. Uh, thanks. It looks great. My pleasure. Really? <laughs> Anytime. Ah, uh, Sly, isn't it time you climbed up there and joined Murray? Yeah, sure. Uh, Penelope is so, like, into Sly right now. It's pretty, it's pretty funny. I'm testing, I'm testing this. Like, look, the, like, look, we die, but the guards don't. Like, we threw the guards in there. The guards just kept running up, but somehow we die. Yeah, I just want to show. I just want to show that. Like some other guards were able to move up there, but we, but we can't. <laughs> it does not. Sometimes I mean, I mean, I guess it's a. Uh, I mean, it is a sly game, so like, I mean, yes. So we have we just instantly fall, but the guards don't 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 like. It doesn't hurt us to a guard at all. So so dumb. But we make it up there, baby. Yeah. Nice. Whack the supports up on those pinwheels! Really? Pinwheel destabilization is the cornerstone of this plan! Jump into my hands and I'll throw you up there! Alright! Boom! We're flying! Bam! Pick it up and then jump! Wee! Bam! Hit one! I'm all done up here. Excellent. Now that the pinwheels are unstable, I just need to light them up with my darts. One shot per rocket should do the trick. All right, let's do this. Let's let's pinwheel it. Now, 
Let's do it. Let's shoot them. Let's shoot the pinwheels. Well, the yeah. Ooh, yeah. Oh wait. Well, how am I keep shooting the same one? One. Not that one. Bam. There's that one. All right. Now just one more. Boom. Oh, maybe zip get a little closer and then go this way and zoom in. Oh no, I got a little higher. Ah! Maybe not. There's that one. Now it's one more. Oh, time this light. Yeah, we did it. So we just had to time that. Now let's get up there and meet the Panda King. The peaceful Those panda king. Are about to go. Guru, feel up for a challenge? How do how do I Oh, we had to use the guru well, that's first. That's right. You should be able to persuade the guards to help. I forget how long this takes. <laughs> oh, hiya. I forget how long this Ashley part takes. But uh, anyway, let's persuade these guards. Oh, that worked. I <laughs> just turned around. Oh yeah, what's this, what's this? Oh yeah, we can just throw. Oh yeah, that's awesome. Oh, oh, oh that works. <laughs> Well, imagine if it hit one of the guards, that'd be pretty hilarious. Instead of hitting the, you know, that, the explosives, explosives that just, you know, just hit that. I'll probably have, like, a projectile that it goes, like, it just goes, it has to loop around, it does, ha it always has to loop around. <laughs> and there's a platform to get up on top. Strong work. That fallen pinwheel should serve as an excellent makeshift elevator. Nice. Hold on, can we, can we, can we get, can we get a guard? Maybe not, maybe not. <laughs> I love, I love playing as the girl, like, look at that. Wait, what happened? What, what, what is it? What, what would you turn into? I want to know what we turn into. Pair of, of just, you know, sticks, a lot. Stand up one day! One day. Wait, I actually want to let give us when we're up here. Ha, <laughs> we're Dominite! <laughs> Explosives as well. A lot. Wee, nice. Let's get up there and let's do this. Let's, 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 you know, fry his brain. Maybe not fry it, but you know, transit. I agree. He's in a super meditative state. So let's just shout in his ear. Now to break him out of this trance, we'll need to delve into his mind. A hacksaw then? No! It'll require channeling! Hi, what da Sly, sit beside the Panda King. The Guru will bridge your mind. Let's do this! Hum. Hum. <laughs> Kidding. Oh, I love this part. I see you carry the cane of the notorious Cooper Thief Clan. Have you come here for revenge? To steal back the thievious Raccoonus? Whoa! This is just like the time I beat the stuffing out of you! <laughs> Why should you care if I bury a few worthless villagers in the snow? You are a thief, just like me. Uh, yeah, are you even listening to what I'm saying? Insolent child! You shall pay dearly for your disrespect. Still, to honor your Cooper ancestry, I will send you to your doom with the beauty of my new firework technique. Flame Foo. Uh-oh. Hey, so welcome back to Sly 1, guys. Welcome back to a new episode of Sly Cooper and Thieves Like News. In the last episode, we got restored the, the, the last three of the panties there. In this episode, we oh, battle the Panic King. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I would have said if you know I was doing a normal Sly Cooper episode of Sly One. So basically, this is, basically this is the, the boss that we had in the in the in the in Sly One. It's pretty great. I love how they do this. <laughs> Snap out of it! This is all in your head. My mind is clear, focused on your destruction. 
Well, I, I got breaking out of this memory loop. Basically, we can, you know, threaten him, play nice, or make him sad. I think it's actually make him sad, but we can always play nice. Yeah, it'll make him sad. <laughs> we both know why you're here. You're fixated on the moment of your greatest defeat. I beat you. And forever after, you've wondered how it all fell apart. I hate you, Sly Cooper. You've ruined me. Ruined the Panda King. And I've hated you. But that doesn't make any of this real. Years have passed, and, and we've both changed. Come out of this trance. Let's meet each other as we are today, and let go of who we were when this fight occurred. You are correct. Forgive me. My mind is not always my own. Well done, Sly. Well done. I still look pretty good. Dang it, he said. The Panda King wasn't any more excited about the notion of him joining the gang than I was. If it weren't for the Guru, who for some reason really hit it off with the old guy, the whole deal would have been a bust. We could see the anger in the Panda King's eyes as he recounted how he lost a member of his own family. A daughter who was abducted by a powerful general from the northern mountains. She was to be the bride in a forced marriage to this unscrupulous ruler, and Panda King was exiled. We agreed to help him recover his lost daughter in exchange for his skills in the Cooper Vault job. I still wasn't convinced this was a good idea, but a deal's a deal. Sly Cooper in the Sly Cooper in the gang in a cold alliance. But yeah, man, this I just love the I just love that mission was pretty great. <laughs> oh, slideshow time! <laughs> Forgot about the slideshow. We all know that our objective here is to retrieve the Panda King's daughter, Jing King. She's being kept against her will by this man, General Sal. A real key to this guy. During surveillance, I actually witnessed him kick a puppy twice. He plans on forcing Jing King to marry him next Saturday. Clearly, time is of the essence. Here's the plan. First, I'll approach Sao in disguise and attempt to get hired as his wedding planner. Hopefully, with a man on the inside, we'll get some news on Jing King. Still, we need more information. Two of us will need to work together to steal a pair of twin keys and break into Sal's house of business. Once inside, I'll need to utilize some new technology to circumvent their old tight security. Finally, thanks to Penelope's air sweeps, we've picked up an unusual radio signature out in the water. Someone will need to go eyeball the anomaly and figure out what it is. We can't leave anything up to chance here, or Jing King lives unhappily ever after. But man, yeah, that, that was a lot. That was a lot. Of that was a lot of stuff that we done in this episode. Like we did, basically, we we defeated the rap, the Black Baron, and then you know, we, and then we you know, went, then we went to the next year in the game and everything, and you know, kind of you know, team saw the Panic King and kind of made peace with Ben Panic King. And I love how they, I love how they showed that fight with the Panic King, like from the first game. I know I made a joke how you know, welcome back to a new episode. It's like. Keep it in that kindness, but not really. It's really <laughs> it's a joke, but you know. But yeah, that boss fight. That I mean, boss fight's really easy. That boss fight was is obviously really easy, but like I love how I brought it back in this game. Just I know it's not really the actual boss fight. It's more like a memory of Sly and everything. I just love how they do it. It's like just show. Also, I love how they show this game like how much, how much the Panic has changed since then, like and everything. And also it's interesting how they uh, introduced her daughter and everything and the and have being a forced marriage as well. That's that's always in we, we never knew about any of that in the last well we didn't well obviously his his her, her daughter wasn't being married, but we didn't even knew anything about her daughter or anything in, in Sly One or even Sly well Sly Two we didn't even have the Panic King. But but yeah it's just you know that was the interesting boss fight. I know I'm kind of talking and like mumbling on the reason I kind of take because I want to talk to my spot before you know the episode off. I kind of want to talk a little bit about it. 
and anything because I didn't really talk that much during it because there was a lot going on and it was pretty quick botch fine and all that but I just love how uh I love how like you know this like you know Sly speech about you know that this was years ago and everything and like both of us changed so much and all that and just you know it was years ago basically <laughs> but anyway before we end this up in this episode off I'm going to ThiefNet because in ThiefNet uh uh, we got more items we can buy. I need to. I need to buy. Uh, yeah, we need, I. I need to buy. We need a lot of stuff. We can, I want to buy uh, more. Is there anything we have to buy? Hold on. Uh, I don't think there's anything we have to buy for this area. But I do want to buy the fist of flames. I'm buying. The, oh wait, we can't buy the fist of flames yet, man. Wait, can I buy this? If we can't buy, can, I'm gonna. If we can't buy the, is there anything else? I want to buy the sign operation. Do that. Is there anything else we can buy? I don't think so, man. Because they got so many more. That's so many more. Just got enemies with this power. Yeah, they have. They had so many more gadgets in this game compared to Sly Two. Sly Four also has. Sly Four has even more than this, which is crazy. But anyway, anyway, we just buy the sound operation room because I definitely love that gadget. Anyway, but anyway, anyway, in the next episode we do all those missions that that uh, that Bentley said in that Sly Show right before right before. We, I start talking or rambling and stuff like that. But anyway, anyway, I've been Green Coast Gaming, and I'll see you guys next time. Well, I'm out. Bye-bye.